In modern gasoline-powered cars, there are three types of fuel injection. The standard port injection, the more modern and efficient direct injection, and the most technologically advanced version combined injection. This last type merges the benefits and probably the drawbacks of the first two. Today I'm going to discuss direct injection. Unlike Port injection where fuel is sprayed into the intake manifold, direct injection sends fuel straight into the combustion chambers. This means that stronger injectors spray the fuel right when the spark plug ignites it. The high pressure in the systems allows to atomize fuel perfectly, leading to less fuel to be used while still maintaining the needed power output. But if you've ever had a car with direct fuel injection, especially one with a high mileage, you might know about some of the major issues associated with this technology. So the first issue with direct injection is carbon buildup on the valves. Carbon deposits are naturally formed in any engine with direct fuel injection. It's a normal process. Fuel burns, leaves combustion byproducts, which then settle on surfaces. With port injection, the injected fuel washes off the carbon from the valves. However, this isn't an option with direct injection. The carbon remains on the valve because only clean air without any fuel in it passes through the valve from the intake manifold. Over time, the engine will start burning a bit of oil due to wear on the pistons, oil rings and the valve seals. This worsens the situation and valves begin to accumulate carbon deposits quite rapidly. When a critical mass of carbon builds up on the valve surfaces, they stop sealing tightly. This leads to a loss of power, or acceleration issues, increased fuel consumption and other problems. The second problem with direct injection is the presence presence of two fuel pumps. Like with port injection, one pump is located in the tank and creates relatively low pressure. The second pump can be located anywhere. This is the high pressure fuel pump or HPFP. Its task is to create high pressure sufficient to inject fuel directly into the cylinders. These pumps are known for their limited durability. They last up to 100,000 miles at best, but often issues start after just 40-50,000 miles. Unfortunately, high pressure fuel pumps are very expensive. Repairing these pumps is often not possible due to complex damages and lack of spare parts so you likely need to buy a new pump. The third problem with direct injection is the very costly repair of any part of the system. If an injector breaks on a simple port injection engine, you can replace it yourself. You could buy an aftermarket injector for about 20 or 30 dollars and simply install it in place of the old one. This trick doesn't work with direct injection. You will need to go to a dealership or choose a reliable repair shop. Even removing an old injector from the engine can be impossible without special tools, and the cost of such injectors won't be pleasant for the buyer. Overall, direct injection offers fuel economy, improves a vehicle's emission performance and increases the engine's maximum power. However, this technology definitely doesn't save you money. The most well-known engines with direct injection include Hyundai's GDI technology lineup and Volkswagen's FSI and TSI engines. Almost all engines in this series require very costly fuel injection system maintenance after 60-80 thousand miles. Does combined injection save you from the common problems of direct injection? To some extent, yes. In such engines, a set of upper injectors sometimes activates, allowing the fuel to pass through the valves. This means carbon buildup doesn't occur when other engine systems are functioning optimally. However, the issue of maintenance costs 
remains unresolved. Additionally, many owners complain about the complex diagnostics required for issues in these engines injection systems. So the hope for simply DIY repairs is still off the table. Therefore, combined injection doesn't solve all the problems associated with your car's fuel supply system.